Hello viewers, today I'll show you how to make pheasant curry, a delicious game bird recipe cooked in the rustic Indian way using whole spices. This is a medium sized wild pheasant which I bought from my local butchers here in the UK. You can see that it does not really look like a chicken and is far more red implying it to be a wild game bird. You can see that the skin is leaner and the bird has been shot here. You have to ensure that no shot remains in the bird before cooking it. Here is a quick look at the other ingredients for this recipe. We will need two bay leaves, six cloves, two black cardamoms, two sticks of cinnamon, four dry red chilies, and four green cardamoms. We will also need one teaspoon each of turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder and red chilli powder. Two tablespoons of roughly ground ginger and garlic paste. Two medium red onions chopped. One cup of good quality plain yogurt or dahi. 3 medium tomatoes cut into chunks and the pheasant skinned and chopped as shown here. I will show you how the pheasant has been chopped just as you would chop a chicken and I am not wasting any parts of the bird barring the skin which I do not need for this recipe. Add some ghee or clarified butter into a heavy bottomed cast iron pot and let it melt. Then add the whole spices into the pot and give them a stir. Then add the chopped onions to the pot and fry them for a couple of minutes. Make sure that the flame is high and then add the chopped ginger and garlic into the pot and fry them together with the onions for a minute. And now it's time to add the pheasant pieces into the pot. Fry the pheasant on high heat stirring occasionally for at least 5 minutes. Then add the ground spices to the pot. Mix the spices in well. Making sure that all the pieces of the pheasant are coated in the spices. Add a bit of water and scrape off the spices of the sides and the bottom of the pot. Now it's time to add the tomatoes and blend them in. You need to squash them up a bit to help them to reduce down. It will take 5 minutes for the tomatoes to reduce down. As you can see the tomatoes have blended in. Now add yogurt to the pot.
mix it in well and cook for 3 to 4 minutes add a bit of water give it a stir then add salt into the pot according to your taste and a bit more water enough to cook the meat give it a stir bring it to a boil and then put the lid on and cook on low flame for at least 45 minutes after 45 minutes take the lid off and check to see if the meat is tender sprinkle half teaspoon of garam masala into the pot squeeze in the juice of half a lime and stir them into the meat and the pheasant curry is ready Let's plate up this flavorful and spicy wild game curry. Garnish with some chopped mint and a few slit green chilies. Serve this delicious pheasant curry with rice, chapatis or naans during the winter months when the pheasant is in season. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel The Omnivore Indian and give me a thumbs up. Enjoy!